Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it's currently 1 a.m. have work at 9.30 a.m. However, um, I was looking at this article. It, uh, it's, it is written by Karen Mercado and it's on Domestica. Or Domestica. Uh, link will be in the description if you're interested in reading it. Um, yeah, here's a little sneak peek here. So basically this this video I'm going to be talking about uh, films. That, well, okay. Well, sorry, I'm a little flustered right now because I just recorded um, this video. <laughs> this video. And I got all my genuine reactions and everything. And then I was very stupid. I exported the audio and then without saving I closed the original like thing in the, in the like recording software and then it deleted all the audio so all that that good um first hand reviewing just out the window however I would still like to make the good content for the people and put my dumb opinion out there so basically what got me thinking um why I searched this in the first place is that I was thinking about the lighthouse and it has this this painting called I believe it's Hypnos and it's it's like this painting of this guy like butt ass naked and then this like god or something I don't really know the lore behind the painting but he has this beam of light and he's like blinding this guy, the naked guy. And I just thought it's a super cool scene. It's a super like, it's a great painting. It's very cool. And I wanted to see kind of more stuff like that. So I searched up um, 20 well I didn't search up this exactly but I looked up um, films inspired by paintings basically and that's what this is going to be about it's going to be about reviewing uh like these paintings and the films and kind of you know how how much of this is is actually representative of the painting all right jumping into it pan's labyrinth by guillermo del toro and the painting is Saturn Devouring His Son by Francisco Goya. Um, first off, I think that, like, as far as, like, criteria goes, I'm thinking visuals. Like, how similar are the two properties? And, like, does this, does this speak of inspiration from this painting here? And I'd I'd say as far as this one goes, it, it does. Um, the it kind of has a dark kind of aura around it, and I mean this one that's very grim. The idea of this painting, which is like, yeah, he's devouring his son. Like that's very grim. Uh, that's pretty terrible. I I have yet to see Pan's Labyrinth. Um, it is on my watch list. Um. But yeah, I, I think this one gets a pass. I think, yeah, you could see the inspiration there. Uh, Metropolis and the Tower of Babel. Babel. Um, the, yeah, the, I mean, this one's really cool. Uh, I, can see th I can see the inspiration here as well. Um, not a ton to say about this one. I, you know, I do like the painting and... Uh, the, I, I can see the inspiration, the large tower, you know. Okay, this is this is the one that got me thinking, like, okay, th this is, like, kind of far-fetched. I don't know if I can see the similarities that far. And then I, I did realize Scream and The Scream. So, yeah, I'm... 
yeah, now realizing that <laughs> there's there's much more similarities than I thought. I mean, even in the face, like it's you can see it's kind of inspired by that. At first, when I looked at this, I th I thought that there wasn't really much to go around. I mean, there wasn't even like a quote or anything like from Wes Craven here to say that it was inspired by this, but I I can see the similarities. It's the original painting here. And something about Squid Game. I don't know. Um, Shutter Island. Directed by the great Martin Scorsese. A reference. I guess this painting is called The Kiss. By Gustav Klimt. It's a good last name. It's a good painter name. Starting with the painting. I think there's a great like pattern here. And I... I would say that these are definitely, like, th this definitely has, like, inspiration drawn from this painting. And I think I think that's, that kind of nails that inspiration. I, I would give that, I I'd give that the two thumbs up, if you will. Okay, Mad Max Fury Road, directed by George Miller. The Elephants, Salvador Dali. I mean, you can see... Like, you know, like such inspiration here. Like the legs. I mean, you know, iconic d Dolly with a surrealist, like, large, like, scary creature. Surrealism. I mean, just great, like, like world building, like apocalyptic. Like, this is terrifying. Just great design and everything. Like, imagine being this guy right here. If I was this guy, I would be screaming. I mean, I would be terrified if this creature was approaching me. Yeah, and I, I definitely see the inspiration. It's a great inspiration. I mean, both of these works are awesome. All right, next we have A Clockwork Orange. Kubrick, all right. Prisoners Exercising. Van Gogh. And I think... Let's see. Was there another Van Gogh on here? Not. No. Okay, so this is the first Van Gogh on this list. Um. Already off the back, I can see the total inspiration here. I mean, it, it's it's like obvious the influence here. I mean, surrounded by walls, you know, in the circle. The prisoners, they're stuck in the space. Um, it's almost kind of cruel how they can even see the outside world here. I mean, they barely get anything to work with, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, I can see heavy inspiration. This is a, this is a good representation of the painting and everything. Yeah, it's very, very accurate. Mary Antoinette, directed by Sofia Coppola. Reference to Napoleon, Crossing the Alps. Jacques Louis David is the painter. And I would I would say these are, like, I can see the inspiration. One thing, though, is, like, I believe this is just how, like, Napoleon dressed. So, you know... I guess you could argue that it's not really inspired by the painting. That's just kind of Napoleon's character. You know, Napoleon, this, you know, the iconic short man. Uh, I've heard he loves his toaster strudels. And as a matter of fact, I think this guy looks, he looks a lot like, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Michael McDowell in A Clockwork Orange. I think he actually looks like a lot like him. So, yeah, I guess you could argue that I would say that gets a pass, though. I mean, that's pretty accurate. Melancholia. Melancholia. Yeah, it's Melancholia. Uh, Lars von Trier. Ophelia by John Everett. I'm sorry, M Malays. I'm bad with names, especially hard foreign ones. 
Um, I do try. Um, but yeah, I think this one uh, rightfully, you know, represents this painting. I can see the inspiration. And this painting, all the lush and the the colors and it's it's a striking visual this woman in the lake it's very it's a, it's a lot to visually look at and i would say with this kirsten dunst one it's toned down a little bit but i there's still those elegant elements to it and i and it's the added layer of she's in a the outfit of a bride in a wedding dress um <laughs> outfit of a dry, a bride i don't know what i'm talking about um wedding dress and yeah you can see the luscious green s similar greens in the in the canvas very beautiful very accurate uh, that one gets a pass dreams by akira kurosawa okay that okay Kur i'm so sorry kurosawa there we go Got to respect the great filmmaker. Um, and the reference, We Field with Crows by Vincent Van Gogh. Okay, there we go. So that is our second Van Gogh in the list now. All right. And I can definitely see the inspiration here. I mean, that is... I, I think they did a great job. Kurosawa did a great job with this. All the crows. The man is in different positions, but um, it is a different setting. But I just think that's beautiful. Even the path laid out. It's very accurate to the painting. It's very beautiful. Number 10 on this list. The Exorcist uh, by Friedkin. Empire of Lights by Rene Majriet. Magriet. Um this one, okay, switching it up. I believe they've had the films on the left side this whole time. Yeah, so I don't know why they're switching it up at the last minute for us here. I can see some resemblance, but I don't know. It, I mean, you'd have to argue. I mean, this one is kind of just like a lamppost. I don't know if I would consider that particularly like even the top of this is like it's a different lamppost. I don't know. Like you could say I'm being too nitpicky, but I just think these are a little too different. So I think this one might be a stretch. I mean, it's broad daylight in this one. It is dark around here. So I I don't know if I particularly agree with this one. All right. And that's the list. There's all these sources, all that fun stuff. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my, I don't know if you could consider this a ranking. It's not really a ranking, but it is a review. All right, once again, Karen Mursado on Domestica. Link will be in the description. Let me know your comments below. And thank you for listening. Let Neptune strike ye dead, Winslow! Oh!